Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is the 29th of August and it is my 18th birthday. I feel like I've been waiting for this birthday for like months. I've literally been so excited for the longest time now. It's because I have something very, 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 very exciting planned. So make sure you stay tuned to see what I'm doing today. But yeah, I'm literally the last of my friends to turn 18. They have all turned 18 before me. Luckily my best friend Soph, she didn't turn 18 until like, like 12 days ago. So she was only 12 days before me. But I'm literally the last one of my friends to turn 18 and I'm so freaking excited. I woke up quite early because, not like because I was excited, I just couldn't sleep. So I woke up early and it was just as the sun was rising. So I watched the sunrise. I did attempt to get some like footage of it on my vlog, but um, my camera just wasn't having none of it. So I didn't get anything, but you know, it's pretty to watch. And I mean, if you can't watch the sunrise on your 18th birthday, when, when will I do it? Never probably. <laughs> but yes, I have just woken up and I'm going to go and myself some breakfast because I'm so freaking hungry. Just come downstairs to make myself a cup of tea. My parents have like decorated the living room or like lounge with like big 18 balloons. And the 18 balloons, guys, they are rose gold. Anyone who knows me knows that I have a slight obsession with like rose gold and copper things. And my mum somehow managed to get her hands on some rose gold or like a copper um, big one and a big 8 balloon, obviously because I'm 18. But the downstairs has been decorated, my presents are on the fireplace, and I'll go through and like show you them in a minute. And I'm just, like so surprised that I got presents. Basically, my present from like my main present from my parents is they're paying for me to get a tattoo today because I wanted to, wanted a tattoo for the longest time. I spent countless hours like drawing and designing it. Cause, like this is my own design that I'm getting done on me. So I'm very grateful that they're paying for that. And I didn't really expect anything else because obviously like that's going to be really expensive or quite expensive. Um, but they have got me some more stuff as well, which I am very, very grateful for. And I'm excited to open because obviously like, I didn't ask for anything else. Um, so it's all going to be a surprise, which I'm super excited about. But I'll go through and show you the living room in a minute when the lighting's better. Because I did try it a minute ago, but it's so dark in our living room that it didn't pick it up on camera. But yeah, just sat here drinking my tea and I literally... I don't feel old enough to be 18 like I can now legally do literally everything I'm an adult like what the hell I don't I do not feel like an adult whatsoever so I have a feeling the lighting's gonna be really naff but I'll attempt to show you what the downstairs looks like at the moment so I got a little 18 balloon here from my work pals and here's like 11 year old Hannah and her brothers so I got that from my work friends and then look at the rose gold 18 balloons literally they're the prettiest things you can see them in my dressing gown <laughs> But honestly, look how pretty they are. Oh, I'm just going to fit my Instagram feed so well. And then I have my presents down here. Also got, don't know if it's going to focus, they've put like a little happy 18th banner just up here. And it just looks really cute. It's like little details like this that make me really happy. My presents look really cute. They're like wrapped in um, brown paper and tied with pink ribbon. And I'm so excited to open them. I feel like a little kid on their birthday night. Like, you know when you can sleep? Like, I know I can sleep, but I feel that excitement right now. <laughs> also, basically, I'm going out with my friends tonight for a meal and to go for a few drinks. So me and my family did my birthday cake yesterday. So I got to have my birthday cake and have birthday sent to me yesterday. And I thought I'd show you my birthday cake because it is the cutest thing. And it's just in here in its little box. Wait, let me take the uh, lid off. Look at it. It's so pretty. It's got pink roses all around it. <laughs> I feel like there's a massive like pink theme going on with my birthday. I'm just such a girl. Um, we do normally make our own cakes for birthdays, but this year we just didn't have time. Like mum didn't have time to make me one, so she bought one. But it tastes really good, so I'm not complaining. The little bits and pieces. Hang on. <laughs> and that was from the dog. That was from the dog. <laughs> oh, no. This is my last present, which my dog has got me. Meg, did you pick it up for me? She's <laughs> not interested. <laughs> I have just finished opening up all of my presents. I've got some lovely, lovely stuff. I'm not gonna show any of it now because I'm gonna do like an 18th birthday haul, but I thought that I would show you my cards. So, so far I've got these ones. This one from my nan and granddad. This one's from my work colleague, Wendy. This one is one of my favorite ones from my aunt. And then this one's from my brother, and this is the best message. It says, uh, have a great day. Don't forget you're now old enough to buy me booze. Nice one, Elliot. I have a feeling he's just using me. And then this one from my other brother. This one from my Aunt June. And this one from my parents. And then I have this one, again, from my work colleagues. And this one, which is a really cute one, from my granddad over in 
Essex. But yes, I've got some lovely stuff and I can't wait to show you on my 18th birthday haul. I also got these from my work pals as one of my presents from them, which are beautiful. They're such pretty colours. Mum and I are just about to leave to go to Brighton because that's where I'm getting my tattoo done, basically. Uh, Mum's got, Mum got her tattoo back in January because Dad bought it for her as a Christmas present and I'm going to get mine done by the same man that did her tattoo because I love it. Um, and like, I feel like getting a tattoo you have to trust them and he did a good job on Mum so obviously like I trust him to do a good job on me, touch wood. So we are going to head off over there, I've just got ready. Me and Mum are both wearing denim skirts actually, we look like twins, I don't know. She's just going to get some money out so that she can pay for my tattoo but we literally have matching skirts on mother and daughter girls but I'm so excited to go and get my tattoo done I am slightly like I'm not nervous at the moment but I know that as soon as I walk in I'm going to be really nervous because I don't know everyone's like oh my god Hannah it's going to hurt so much because I'm getting it done on like my rib cage like on my side here on my left side and obviously like there's not a lot there anyway and because I've got quite a small frame there's even less there but I feel like I've wanted it for so long so hopefully I can just sit through the pain of however long it is like a couple of hours and it'll be fine but I'll be sure to update you when I get there. Mum and I have just arrived in Brighton we've come to Cafe Nero's quickly because I think it's probably a good idea for me to put sugar on me before I get my tattoo done in case I don't get flaky but we're about half an hour to here I get my tattoo I'm not nervous yet but like I say like I can't it's like two feet and telling how nervous I am I'm not nervous yet I'm pretty sure when I get in there maybe but yeah we're just done come for a quick pit stop in Nero's because it's my favourite cafe ever it has been a while since I last picked you up but literally since the last time I picked you up I think it was in Nero's that I last picked you but since then I have got my tattoo I'm permanently scarred um, me and mum are just in the end now we're going to the most chicken burgers and I'm super excited to eat because I'm really hungry my tattoo I'll talk about it like more when I get home but it didn't hurt that much it's actually quite relaxing I nearly fell asleep but I'm now permanently scarred my outfit and love it um, I think me and mum are going to eat and then we are Brighton with mum. I literally have hardly picked my camera up today but it's because I've literally been doing stuff like all day so I haven't really had the chance to but I thought that I would quickly show you guys my tattoo. If I go to the big mirror and I can show you it in the mirror. So I'm absolutely in love with it. So basically I drew that. That was my drawing that I spent quite a while on and skinned alive in Brighton. If any of you are from Brighton I would highly recommend that you get yourself down there to get a tattoo because they're absolutely amazing in there. Um, but yes, I spent the afternoon shopping. I've got so much stuff. Um, I found some amazing bargains, but I'm going to do a, like, what I got for my 80th birthday or, like, birthday haul type video thing, video. Um, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that. But um, now, I think the last time I spoke to you, I was in a restaurant. And now I'm off to another restaurant with my friends because we are going... My top's rising. We are going out for dinner for my birthday with me and my friends. And I think we might go for a drink after because I can now drink. I'm now legal to drink. <laughs> um... And yeah, we're going to go to Ask Italian because that's like my favourite restaurant in the entire world. And then I think we might go to Weatherspoons after maybe. I'm not really sure where we're going to go, but hopefully it'll be a good evening. I am going to take my camera along with me, but I'm not sure how much I'm going to film because I don't really know like how I feel about filming in front of my friends. But I need to stop rambling. I want to go and take some pictures with my rose gold 18 balloons and I will probably show you my dinner because that seems to be what I do whenever I get food because it always looks so good but let's go and get some more good food I like to just add I don't eat like this every day like I hardly ever enjoy my food like I really struggle to enjoy food um, and I just try to enjoy it today not think about what I'm eating but I just wanted to like throw it out there I don't eat as much as I do today normally like this isn't a normal amount for me to eat but enough of me rambling I'm gonna go Hello. you know I'm being it can I put you in it so <laughs> Uh, I'm with her. I've already judged you in it. <laughs> no, I can't. What buttons are click? This one, yeah. Uh, it's recording. Wait, show me the front. Yeah, it's recording. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So um, today we're in Ask Italian, and I'm going to be eating pasta. Um, so it's for me because she's my own videographer now. Mm -hmm. I have my first alcoholic beverage of 18, mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to get. Basically. I didn't leave it but I just um muted it. Go on so my pasta looks a bit mouldy. <laughs>
Audrey, move your hand, please. Please. Please do it. Just for one second. I forgot to end my vlog yesterday. Um, I literally got home and I just crashed out. I think the last clip that I filmed, I was in Ask with everyone, but there's a train coming past again. Are you joking? But yeah, I didn't film much in Ask because mainly because people didn't want to be filmed, um, which is like fair enough. I think Verity and Lucy were fine with being filmed, obviously because they have a channel, um, but everyone else didn't want to be filmed. I think the last clip that I filmed so filmed me because I always got my camera out and vlog, but I got really like nervous about it. So so filmed me and I just sort of like, I think I took the mic a little bit <laughs> with what I was doing, but oh well. Um, so I think that was the last clip that I filmed. I had literally the best evening, I had the best day yesterday. So yesterday evening I went out with Lucy Verity, um, who else there? Lucy Verity, Tess, Beth, Gina, M, myself and Soph. Um, and we always went out for dinner and it was lovely. I was going to go out afterwards, but literally it got to 9 o'clock and there's another train so I wanted to go out afterwards but I got to 9 o'clock and I was just shattered like I'd been awake since about 5 o'clock in the morning just because I was I woke up really early and then having a tattoo just like takes it out of you and I was absolutely shattered and I had a really bad headache so I was like I should probably go home I literally got home and <laughs> crashed out by about 10 o'clock so I had a wild 18th but I'm going like out out on Friday so I'll make up for it then um but I just overall had such a good day my tattoo is sort of like it hurts me now than what it did when I got it done because it's just sort of like sore like a, like a burning pain but I think I'm going to do a whole video on my tattoo and like show you guys my tattoo properly and like my experience with it because I think my experience was completely different to like a lot of people's experiences um but that will definitely be something that I do soon and yeah just everyone who said happy birthday like thank you and to everyone who like came along to my birthday meal or spent the day with me or just even just sent me a message whatever I, like thank you so much because I honestly had I know that like people say this every year but I had the best birthday this year and yeah I just I don't know it's weird I don't feel old enough to be 18 and there's like so much coming up in the next few weeks like moving out and starting university and turning 18 and it's all just like slowly like I'm ticking things off my like excitement list but yes I'm sorry I didn't end the vlog last night um but I was just so tired I got home had a migraine not migraine but I just had a really bad headache um had a headache and I just wanted to go to sleep so I now need to I'm going to tidy up my room organize my stuff I'm in I don't start work till two o'clock and it's currently like eight so I'm going to get myself ready and hopefully film my what I got for my 18th birthday video which will be up like next week maybe um and then just chill out I need to get some uni work done and then I'll go to work. But yes, again, sorry I didn't end the vlog last night. And thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who made my birthday the best birthday ever. And yeah, I will see you all in my next vlog.